Hi, I'm Mark from Trail Buddy. I've had some questions about what we do for our paint, so I thought I'd walk you through a process. So here's our bikes when it comes in. Uh, it's fully assembled. Uh, what we do is we kind of tag everything, you can see where everything's at. We'll start breaking it down. Once the bike's ready for it to be broken down, we go over here to our sandblast section. So here you can see in our blaster, uh, where we got the frame um, totally taken down. We note the frame number, uh, we get our tag, and we get our blasted here. Um, we use a uh, aluminum oxide, kind of a light grade, so we don't take off too much metal. Uh, one thing that's really important is we want to make sure we get all the decals off and all the stickers, because you don't want to leave any kind of shadowing with the sandblasting process. But after that, we'll come over to here. We've got our sandblasting frame. Um, we've got all the details done, we go through and we make sure there aren't any broken up off uh, bolts. Uh, make sure there's uh, the steering stop is on and check out if there's any dents or dings. Got all the parts and pieces. And then after that, this is just a frame half, but this shows we do the epoxy primer sealer. Um, this is just a really good base to bite into the metal to make sure that we don't have any uh, any kinds of missing spots, but this is really a good sealer. Gets in all the nicks and crannies and really seals it up. And then, after that, we do some finished bikes here, which is the candy. So this process, if you follow me over this way, we start out here with the silver base on top of the primer. So that gives it the metallic flake. Then, in this case here is our green. Do the green over top of that, which you can see the parts here. And then the last step is clear coat. But here you can see the finished product. This is a lot of, um, what you don't see here is there's a lot of wet sanding steps before we do the final silver on top of the primer or any high build primer. And if there's any little teeny dings or dents, we do a light icing filler to fill that in, but um, we were getting some questions on how we do our painting and I wanted to just kind of walk through a couple jobs that we had while they, while they were in the shop. You can kind of see, we, we always kind of leave our vins on. It leaves the patina and the rivets and it just really works out well and we don't run the case of wrecking anything, but you can see when you've got enough good wet sanding steps where you can really get a good flat, clear, the bikes turn out really nice. But yeah, these are two H models. Let me see the frame. Customer wanted to go a little, a little different on the on the blue, but we'll do whatever the customer wants. But again, this is Mark from mytrailbuddy.com and wanted to do just a couple basic how-to's on what we're doing with our paint shop. Check us out online. Thanks!